That's the inconvenience of the split unit. You need transport refrigerant for a long distance in between the condenser and the evaporator. For that reason, uh, some technicians, some engineers prefer the self-contained unit, unit like this, because that unit have the compressor and the evaporator together. No, those are self-contained units. The compressor and the evaporator are pretty close in the same compartment. This is, this is a good advantage. That's the inconvenience of the split units. What happens if I introduce that coil in a container with fresh water? Ah, let me check that. I am going to make a drawing here of a container with fresh water. And that container is full of a fresh water. In other words, that coil, practically frozen, is surrounded for fresh water. Nice, no? What happened with the fresh water around that coil? What happened with the temperature of that fresh water? Yes, that temperature of the water decreased, decreased a lot. And right now I have chilled water. We are going to analyze in this uh, chiller system how the thermal expansion valve works. This is the output of the compressor. This is the high pressure. This is the high pressure liquid. This is the side glass. And this is uh, the liquid uh, high pressure, high temperature. And this is the expansion valve. The expansion valve open and close depending on the signal coming from this puppy capillary pipe that finish in this bulb. This bulb is located at the output at the output of the evaporator. This is the output of the evaporator. And here is located the bulb. The bulb sends the temperature of this pipe. And according with the temperature of this pipe, send the signal to the thermal expansion valve and the thermal expansion valve open and allow that the fluid pass through the venturi and produce the reduction in pressure and temperature and goes down down here with low low pressure and low temperature and enter in the bottom of this evaporator practically frozen and continue frozen 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 over there and return here and ah, this container this container internally is surrounded for fresh water fresh water fresh water fresh water and fresh water and this is the fresh water that are continue in different radiators and the radiators have fans in front that the chilled water that the chilled water that is used for different fans in this boat we have a chiller system uh, in this particular case this is the raw water pump the raw water pump this is the, the strainer the strainer is communicated in the bottom strainer is communicated in the bottom with the with the sick pump. That's the strainer and the strainer pass over there and this is the raw water pump. And the raw water enter and those are the compressors. Those are four compressors. The raw water cool the compressor, cool the coil of the compressor and after that the raw water goes outside in the back of this wall. Behind of those compressors is the evaporator and uh, the evaporator pull the chilled water and the chilled water, those are the pumps for chilled water. This is the main pump, main chilled water pump and this one is the backup chilled water pump and this is the chilled water that goes up into the air handle. Like this, I have a, a stand in the laboratory and I connect the cooling tower in this way. And this is the water cooled condenser. Uh, is a, this is the typical condenser that we have in marine applications. Uh, in order to simulate the marine application, we are going to use the cooling tower. Uh, this is the, the connection of the cooling tower. Uh, look, we, we, have the, we have the high pressure lines coming from, uh, from the compressor. 
The high pressure enter in the coil internally. Remember that it's a small pipe surrounded for a big pipe. And here the pipe is going out and this is the pipe that continue, continue, continue and pass through the expansion valves and enter into the evaporator. Okay, uh, we have a two air, air cool condensers and raw water cool condenser. Uh, the raw water is coming from uh, the cooling tower. The cooling tower uh, receives water, municipal water in the pool in the bottom and um, the water is pumped up and a fan on top when the water reach the top the water drops by gravity and the fan cool the water and the water goes down by gravity and the water is cooled uh, this is the raw water pump similar to the raw water pump used in marine application the raw water suction the water in the middle and send the water with high pressure and the water enter into the coil. Oh, a chiller system is a chi is a is an air conditioning system that uh, don't use refrigerant. Use water, fresh water. No matter. No, 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 no. It's an air conditioning system. Look, compressor, evaporator, and refrigerant. But that uh, is is like a self-contained, and you have one heat exchanger one heat exchanger with raw water for the condenser and other heat exchanger with fresh water for the evaporator that fresh water goes out and enter in different small radiators or small coils small air handles each air handle is located in one office in one room and continue 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 six air handles and return the chilled water, the chilled water pass through each air handle and uh, the chilled water uh, is the blue one, is the blue one, is that one, that one, chilled water enter in each handle and return the red one, return the red one, the red one into the unit and we have a one manifold, one manifold to return the red one and other manifold the blue one for the discharge. The discharge is chilled, chilled water, practically frozen, and the return is warm water. And once again, enter, enter in the container, in the reservoir, where the, the coil of the evaporator is located, and once again, that water is chilled water and goes out again and enter in each handle. Uh, this is, this is a, a, good, a good picture. Look at this. This is the condenser that the condenser and uh, this is the coil of the evaporator that the coil that is practically frozen and that coil is inside of this container full of fresh water and uh, that fresh water the level of that fresh water is coming is coming from the municipal water and that fresh water goes out, chilled water, and the circulating pump circulate the water for other units, like this, like this. This is the unit, in this unit we have uh, the condenser and the evaporator together, it's a self-contained unit, and the, eva the evaporator uh, is in, uh, inside of that rectangular in stainless steel, like in the previous video, and the chilled water, look, the chilled water, this is the low water, uh, uh, low temperature, low temperature, chilled water, this is chilled, and uh, this is the return warm, warm water, and this is the circulating pump for fresh water, and the condenser, they have an other pump, raw water pump, to keep the temperature of the condenser low and produce the condensation of the refrigerant.